Good morning, everybody. Scrap and Salvage here, heading out to a uh, state sale about 25 minutes away. The uh, sale looks pretty good in the pictures. Uh, looks like a bunch of old stuff, kind of more my thing. Maybe more like a yard estate sale, if you will. But uh, we're gonna go check it out. Half the battle is just showing up, and that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> This state sale turned out to be pretty good. They moved the contents outside. It was basically piled up. They didn't even have it set up. It's kind of you had to dig through the boxes. It was really a small sale, but it did have some some older things. You know, when you're up against, you know, 15, 20 people, you get what you can get. This little Art Deco style writing pad, desk pad, you just put on there. This one, I think, is a date of 1955. So that's seen some days. Pretty dirty possibly Bakelite. Flashlight, this OD Green military. I don't see military U.S. stamping on it, but the military, they have flashlights like this for, you know, Vietnam, Korean War eras. This is USA Light, United States Electric, New York. Found this Egyptian little tote bag. If I can unwrap it. Kind of cool, cool graphics, nice color, good size. A little beach or just yoga studio bag, whatnot. Found this little square dancing band, little trinket, J Japan made. Just a little novelty thing, kind of fun. Don't really know what they do other than just set them up and look at them, but uh, it's kind of cool. Got a set of six of these peacoat buttons. I, I find peacoats pretty often and uh, a lot of times they're missing a button, so I decided to pick that up in case I need to replace any. I've got a little collection of spray cans. I like these little mini ones with the colored tops by uh, Pactra. Translucent colors, candy oriental purple. It's kind of fun, the kids can paint their little go-karts and bikes back in the era, the little car model cars. They're probably for like modeling, I guess it's probably 60s. Everything here pretty much needs a cleaning. I haven't done any of that yet. A little Griswold, I believe. Yeah, Griswold number three. Some of these can have a little money. I think there's probably about 15 to $25 for that. Kind of fun, people do collect those. Antique pastels box full of pastels my daughter's been asked for these so brought them home she'll be using those great thing about state sales is that you know you can go and buy these little kind of things that normally would probably cost you i don't know 10 bucks or something and you get it for like a dollar and it's useful got these rawlings baseball these vintage baseballs this could be like little league i'm not 100 percent. i need to do a little more research but to have a baseball sealed uh did a little bit of comps on that and i think eh, 30 to 50 dollars for one of these if it was like the real pro ones maybe 60 so I'm curious what these will bring, but a fun little find. I think the guy asked a dollar a piece for him and more continuous kind of the baseball. This is like this kid made these little Dodgers and Angels little album from the 60s. And this must have taken some time. I just thought it was kind of fun. It was in a box full of like newspapers and different things. And Not that it's worth a lot of value. It's just kind of kitschy and fun. And hopefully someone will get a kick at it for a couple bucks. Have these little youth tournament baseball rules from the 60s youth baseball coach manual how to pitch how to play the game kind of thing just thought that was a fun little buy with the rest of it moving on to some of the pottery i found kitschy kind of 50s this one i think I believe is dated 58 in van nuys california 1958 usa i'm not sure who made that but this is a little planter bowl kind of biomorphic shape here's another one this little planter same 50s Era made in USA. Not sure who manufactured that. And this one, this one's made by Wade Ceramics. I don't know if that's a more like a coffee table candy dish or could be a planter. But this one's by Royal Hager USA as well. So just a fun little thing. Nothing too high dollar. Moving on, found this cool little probably a bathroom trash can. Flip the side, opens up, galvanized little bucket in there. Pretty rough shape. I don't know. I really love these things when I see them. So. Maybe fix it up, clean it and use it, or just flip it for a little bit. Lastly, got this design a car model kit. Pretty dirty, needs a good cleaning, but this is cool because it looks like the kid started to do it but didn't finish. Most of the parts are there. So the, the model car kit builders, this will bring a little bit of money. Did a little quick search and eh, it could be 30 to $40 for this one. Some of the Pontiac and other car models are going for a couple hundred bucks so you never know fun little find by pyro probably from the 60s late 50s this was a haul today thank you guys for watching if you like what i'm doing please like and subscribe until next time